We've all heard that the eyes are the windows to the soul, but I don't think we fully grasp how true that statement really is. Paulo Coelho, the author of The Alchemist said, no one can lie, no one can hide anything when he looks directly into someone's eyes. And where else do we look, in fact, when we're looking for the truth in someone's words, we're trying to judge their true emotions, we look into their eyes. And it isn't just for the sake of sentiment, there's actually a physiological response that we subconsciously, if not innately, know to look for. When someone is scared or excited or overcome with passion, a physiological response is triggered that causes our pupils to dilate. So looking into someone's eyes to see if they love you isn't just something out of a cheesy romance novel. No, it's actually part of the true beauty and complexity of our eyes. And our eyes are complex structures. The retina, which is this paper-thin layer inside the eye responsible for detecting light, is actually made up of 10 separate layers and composed of over 100 million cells. If our eyes were digital cameras, they would have the resolution of something like 576 megapixels. Compare that to the most advanced high-end digital cameras available today, which have something like 50 megapixels. When one of the biggest, most innovative companies on the planet, Apple, wants to describe how amazing the resolution is on their screens, they call it the retina display. We say a picture is worth a thousand words, that's because our eyes can perceive far more than our mouths can say, our ears can hear, and our hands can write. Our eyes can perceive up to 10 million different colors. They can detect the flicker of a single candle from a mile away on a clear, dark night. As Charlotte Bronte wrote in Jane Eyre, the soul fortunately has an interpreter, an often unconscious but still faithful interpreter in the eyes.